this. So you get into your skating position. For this exercise, we have plenty of time. You got five circles, so no rushing. Get into it. And then when you're there, you tilt, obviously, in order to turn, and you push to the side. Whether you want your hands in the back or if you want to use the arms, that's up to you. And that's it. Make sure that you feel pressure on this leg. It shouldn't throw you out of position. The rest of your body shouldn't move, basically. Gonna look a little bit like this. Find your position. step in again my step is not an actual step it's a it's a parallel to the ground horizontal step in and again like yesterday don't step with the foot it's a step with the body with the hip so step in and then drive this towards this leg so again when you do a crossover you push off then you're on this leg and you drive it that way be on the ground and lift that. So that's a way of forcing all of us to not throw things away from the body. Keep it close, keep it compact, keep it efficient. So what we just did, trying to combine that, so the push in, and then driving this, a few of the skaters in my group said it almost felt like you were kind of trying to squeeze the legs together, which that is the right idea. This is the counterweight, this is the leverage, this is what you're pushing against that. Except now we're not lifting it, so we're forcing it to stay close. Again, a drill. Don't go out and skate with all your wheels in the ground. I'll try and show it in the circle. If you're straight, it's very limited how far in you can move. If, if you don't lean, and it's also going to be difficult <clears throat> if we go down in the position we should be able to fall onto it and then ideally if you're doing a correct crossover you should be able to pass this movement you should be able to take one crossover and then pass it i'm going to force you to get to the point where you're stable in that position. So there's no, no cheating, there's no jumping onto the next skate. It'll be smooth. So we, we do not lift any wheels at any point in the crossovers. Which means that when we get to this point, we gotta be stable and drive it back here. It is a challenging exercise. It's also the most difficult of the circles. It's also where we can learn the most um, if it's difficult, you can do it at your own level, even if it's just like this. Just the idea of coming to a state where this feels <clears throat> pretty okay. That's the goal of it. I'll try and show it. Do the crossover. This next one, circle five, is gonna be what we just did, but closer to how we want skating to look. So keep the front wheel on the ground as you do this part of the push. Because like yesterday, watching videos, so many of you would do the opposite, which makes no sense. If you wanna keep something compact, you would want to do the opposite of that. You would want to be smooth getting it over that. Again, this is a drill, doesn't mean you should all go. But for this exercise, try and keep it as compact as you can and drive it just over there.
try and do small, normal skating, normal crossovers, but make the circle smaller and smaller. It's for you to get more lean, but also at some point it is gonna drift out a little. Start out by big circle, and then slowly build it in. Before I let you go, let me just introduce Graspore. This little sleeve measures your muscle oxygen levels. It's my weapon leading up to 2026. And with this, you can make sure that you have the correct intensity in every single workout. Check it out, link below.